another video. And today, we will be showing you what to do if you forget your Apple iPhone or iPad screen time password. It's a very common issue to forget your screen time password as it happens a lot and this video has been highly requested. Now, if you've decided to speak to an Apple associate about this for help, or you have watched other videos on YouTube, you may have seen that everyone tells you to restart your device. And sometimes this may not be feasible or it may not be what you want to do because you want to keep the information on your device. So today, in this video, we'll be showing you the easiest way to restart your screen time password. It won't require you to erase your phone, won't require you to do anything of such sort. Now, the only thing with this way is that you must know your Apple ID, username, and password. So that would be the email you used with your Apple ID account and the password. Most people know this, so it should be easy. Let's get on with today's video. Now, you will want to start off by going to the settings of your iOS device. So this could be your iPhone or your iPad. Then, once you're in the settings, you want to look down and you should see a screen time tab right before Do Not Disturb. Click on the screen time tab and there, if screen time is on, which it should be if you forgot your password, you will be able to see your daily average, downtime, app limits, and etc. If you want to change any of this, it asks you to enter your screen time password. Now, you don't know your screen time password, so here's what you will need to do. Go on to a place where it'll say change screen time password or turn off screen time. It doesn't matter, you can click either one. So what will happen is, after you incorrectly enter your password a couple of times, so about five times, it'll give you a warning to say, wait for one minute to enter your password again. Once you do so, and you get it wrong again, it'll say, give five minutes. Once you wait five minutes, enter your password again, it'll tell you to wait for another 15 minutes. After entering 15 incorrectly, it'll say, wait for an hour. Now, this process may be timely, but it is the easiest way to do it if you're not interested in erasing the information on your device. After an hour, once you type in your password again, it should say that it's wrong and wait another hour. Now, after this other hour, you should be presented to enter again. If you get it wrong this time, don't worry, it should be your 10th time getting it wrong. At your 10th time getting it wrong, close to the bottom of the screen, there will be an option that says forgot password. Once you click on that password, it'll prompt you to enter in your Apple ID, username, and password. Once you enter that, you will be able to change your screen time password. So again, simply just get the password wrong 10 times and it'll prompt you to change your password using your Apple ID, email, and password. This is the simplest way to do it and I hope that I helped you. Thank you for watching Coriar's video. Remember to like and subscribe. Before we go, we would like to address something very important. The novel coronavirus has caused a great impact on the world, but we must stick together during this horrible time. We know some of you may be under self-isolation, and it must be boring. It is hard to create YouTube videos during this time, but we will try to keep you as entertained as possible. Thanks for watching, and remember to always wash your hands and be safe.